le port de les sept marins du Rio Tagus se sont abandonnés à leur triste sort depuis trois mois. Victime d'avarie, le bateau avait dû faire escale dans le port et puis depuis, l'amateur ne donne, l'armateur ne donne plus aucun signe de vie et les marins n'ont pas un sou en poche. On a besoin de nos salaires pour aider nos enfants et sans cet argent, on ne pourra jamais rentrer à la maison. Les frigos sont bientôt vides, tout comme les réserves d'eau potable et de mazout. Et sans le soutien d'associations locales, ces hommes ne pourraient continuer à vivre à bord. The Rio Tagus is a multi-purpose cargo ship built in 1979 and has been detained since 2010 in the port of this French harbour town when on its way back from Egypt. Ever since, the huge structure has been rotting away and according to many citizens, it's ruining the streetscape of this picturesque harbour town. It's a bit part of the decor, it's been a long time it's there. It's cold, it's sale. Its Panamanian owner abandoned the ship and his crew that remained on board for four months. They were helped by associations where they were welcomed daily and then were repatriated by the French Immigration and Integration Office. The vessel has been for sale and auction multiple times. Nonetheless, no buyers could be found over the past decade. The ship deteriorated to such extent that it eventually has become nothing more than a rusty wreck still partly floating while healing on its left side. After multiple failed attempts of demolition and deconstruction operations, which were repeatedly postponed, the ship's future remains uncertain. any case whatsoever, it will never sail again. Today I'm exploring this infamous ship before it will be history forever. Last night we did not even sleep, we drove in one continuous way for about 10-11 hours. I don't know if you could tell it by the look of my face, but actually at this moment I really don't care. I mean we are in a very secluded area right now and the only thing which surrounds us is the nature, the birds. Like you can see I'm accompanied with my friend from the Sweden series, Hi. Sarah, and yeah, it's actually starting to get spring this morning the sun is out i have to admit it's not very hot but in the sun it's definitely better than in the shadow yeah we're actually gonna do some grooming brush our teeth and somewhere right over here is a building i spotted on google satellite i don't know anything about it but it looked abandoned to me and yeah we're just gonna check it out so follow us along
fresh again. Time to check out the building. Okay, so time to check out the abandoned place. We are completely dressed up. We brush our teeth, washed our face. That's also left for us is having some breakfast, so that's also definitely still on the list. But yeah, maybe this abandoned mansion, or yeah, maybe it's just a shed, will actually be the perfect occasion for it. So it's actually already right in front of us. It's quite big, to be honest. It looks empty to me, though. This could have been the former entrance gate. The wind just going to rear here. That's a good morning, even if you didn't sleep at all. This was not a mansion, but it used to be a shed. But it's, it's quite big size, to be honest. It's quite voluminous. <laughs> and just look around you, only the mountains surrounding you, nothing else. So what do you think about this era? It's nice. The thing is empty. Yeah, I think too, but still I think it's a great way to start this day in just the morning. Just the gate is right over for us, like it's welcoming you. Get inside. But yeah, this was literally just a shed. But it's wide open, that's one good thing. Yeah, it's not very promising at all. One day, this must have been a beautiful property though. Damn, full of graffiti over there. It's a wall. And an old newspaper over here from 1991.
All right. Let's check out the upstairs. <laughs> there is even a hole where you can look to the down floor here. <laughs> this is so strange. There is literally one single bed standing. Seriously? Yeah, but without a mattress or anything. Yeah, just this iron bed. So this part has completely collapsed one day, but right under the collapsed bars is actually still a vehicle standing here. Very old French car. I was not expecting that. It was another huge barn. So we just arrived in hands down the most beautiful harbor town I have ever seen in France. And we are actually very close to the ship we want to go exploring. Literally just parked my car here on the sparking. I asked some locals and they told me it's free. So what's left for us now is let's see if we can actually manage to get on this ship and then it will be an epic explore. I think after that we're gonna explore the town because this is gorgeous people. I mean, of course, I can unfortunately not tell the name, but wow, only the view already. Of course, this is the parking, this is all ugly, but there are so many boats, little canals, and of course, the coastline is wonderful. So right over there is a ship already. The only question is how are we gonna get on board? There is already workers there. There was workers at the harbor there. That's a pity. That's really a pity. Let's just wait there on this rock. Let's see what this man's gonna do. Because the only way to get on this ship, you see it? is if you pass the fence and then literally go up there and climb that's the only way this can work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, so the second attempt because it was a little bit too high to climb with the camera gear. So right now Sarah grabbed the telescopic ladder and I think that's actually a good option for a second attempt. But it's all about timing because the gate was actually closed, somebody opened it, who has its yacht there and uh, it's all about hoping that these people stay in their boat or maybe they just have yeah 
zero things given and they just you don't even care about it it's uh i do or don't we will see we're gonna try to get on the ship right now and uh, yeah hopefully it works out at least we are there with good intentions and not to spray graffiti in contrast with what happened in the past so yeah let's check it out oh what was that <laughs> yeah, that is for Bond. So Sarah wanted to run when she yeah. saw the man. Big. The one of men. Seth. Okay, so if they speak to us, we will just explain what we are doing. Yes. The people are also walking in this direction right now, but yeah, I don't think they have any uh, things to say here. <laughs> yeah, well, we just want to explore, you know, and we're doing it safely with the telescopic ladder. <laughs> Nothing wrong about that. <laughs> Some beautiful villas here. A really nice apartments. Huh? Bonjour. Ah, comme ça. Tempo. Uitlappen die handen en ja, gaan. Die, die kleppers hier. Oh, yes, oh. Oh. Oh, ja. hier Ik pak de ladder. Laat niet vallen. Nou, laat lekker naar de zijkant. Het ze niet zien. Alright. We are on board. What a bad ship. This is epic. Sarah, we made it. We are on the abandoned ship right now. Mission accomplished, and now it's time to explore it. It is very rusty here, by the way, so I have to be careful with every step I make. Look, everything is loose in here. All right, well, over here we can go up, but we're first gonna do the downside. and also underground. But let's first just walk around the ship. So there are many stories about this ship. You've probably already heard them in the introduction of this video. But this ship is in the middle of the city, this harbor town. So yeah, we have to be a little bit cautious. Where is also going down as well? I think this is a good point to go down later. Actually the very first time exploring an abandoned boat on this channel. It's so special to be here, like, I love it. It's really sad that some people spray graffiti here. And actually, fun fact that many people might not know, but when I was 15, 16, and 17 years old, I actually worked on a boat. Not as a sailor man, but I was actually a bartender 
and it was like uh, a touristic boat you know a sightseeing uh, tour and yeah I was just serving out the gas and everyone <laughs> there is also a boat there it's literally in the middle of the harbor but have a look how beautiful this harbor town is and we are literally on top of a ghost ship right now oh, this is very very unstable Wow, it's almost like the Titanic. This is epic guys. Over here you have the big chains with the anchors. And that's how this goes chip. It's possible to be still floating here after all those years of neglectance. It's completely decommissioned now. But this actually was a huge ship, and I guess it was a cargo ship. This is so epic. It's one of my first times exploring a boat. Actually, I, I feel quite comfortable now. You know, you are almost completely certain that people are going to see you, but we're not there doing anything wrong, you know? Not destroying anything. We're just here to, yeah, do an exploration throughout the ship. I think it's best to go down now, you know? You saw the ladder going down? I'm so curious. I have to go down here. I don't know if it's possible, but I will try my best. This ship is so rusty. This is dodgy as hell. I hope it's not floated down there. Damn, it's pitch dark. I can't see anything. Do you think you can manage to hand me over the camera? Yes. I think I can manage this with one hand. All right. Oh, damn. Whoa. This is gigantic. This is quite hard. Honestly, I think it's better if you stay there because it will be hard to climb up with the cam. This is very difficult, Sarah. I think I'm just gonna show it like this, but this is a huge space around me. You're probably not even able to see much of it, but I'm standing here on this ladder. I literally have one hand to climb up again to Sarah. But this was probably used to ship all their cargo goods. It is massive. It's like two big teeth or hulls into each other. Sarah, I'm gonna try to climb up. I don't wanna let this camera fall down because it's way too expensive. Oh. You have it? Yes. All right, let's go back up. At least I give them a glimpse of what's down there, but it's literally all empty. It's a huge storage hall unit. It's impressive. That was cool. I like exploring ghost ships. My hands are already completely brown and black, full of the rust of the metal. Maybe we can try to go down the other ladder we've spotted. I mean, so far, so good. All right. What a beautiful, sunshiny day it is today. We actually chose the perfect weather conditions to explore this ship. So far, nobody is really caring about it. This looks cool. I 
it, so look at it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna film this with the GoPro. Leave the camera here for a while. Yeah, I think it's better. Because this is again a long stairway going down. But there might be something interesting waiting for us. And not only just a storage unit. This is not a giant storage unit, but we can actually access this one. I'm Sorry. pretty, I'm pretty positive. Sorry. Let's go down. Damn, almost done, guys. Actually seems fluted there. It is quite fluted to be honest. We will definitely get wet feet. That's one thing for sure because this is actually also the part which is on the water. Sarah is also coming. Okay, so you have to step on that blade and then you're safe, no wet feet. So this was actually also like the storage unit I saw with the other ladder going down. But that other storage unit was even twice this size. It is tremendously huge. You can literally just hear the rust. But imagine, Sarah, imagine everywhere around you right now, you're surrounded by water. This bar, these bars are all on the water. So if there is one leakage, we have a big chance of drowning. <laughs> Thank you. Just being honest to you, <laughs> like this ship is in a very, very bad state of disrepair. Don't you think that the ground feels very strange, like... Yeah, it's like another normal ground. Yeah. I think it's going up again to another side, just above the ship, the ground to level. So this was pretty cool, guys. At least I could show you the storage unit. And now we actually want to go to the cabin of the sailor. So we're going up again. As you can see, Sarah is already climbing up. What a huge unit. I guess it's my turn now. Okay, so we're going up now the dusty stairs and also the very rusty stairs like these plates underneath me right now they are so unstable watch your step definitely people are gonna see us 100 percent and the people who will see us are actually just at their boats on this harbor hopefully they don't mind let's let's do this people are sleeping here. Hello? Bonjour. Wow. 
Whoa. This is very cool. Okay, close the door again. Wow. Everything is left from the firm of, former factory uh, workers. Factory workers, <laughs> ship workers, of course. This is even written in like a Russian language or maybe Bulgarian or Ukraine. 2007. 2008 it goes up to when including 2008 so I think it's the last date and ever since the boat got decommissioned but it seems that we are literally exploring a time capsule right now in which literally everything is left behind and all of that's just on a ship damn another tiny cabin over here Imagine that the workers were just sleeping here. Those were actually their rooms. They had a bed over here. Also still some log books on top of the mattress. Their toilet. Over here was probably clothes. And then over here, of course, life vests in case of emergency. Nice curtains. So they wouldn't wake up too early in the morning. This is really nice. Oh, 2011, it's saying here on the calendar. In that case, it's already abandoned for 10 years. That's quite a long time for a ship to be decommissioned. I've never seen something like this. Have a look over here. This was another room. I guess they had quite some factory workers and I definitely think the ship was from Russian owners and also the people working here were Russian. But why it is floating now in this harbor in the side of France, I don't know. A fan over here. Wow, it's even going down here. I really want to scan all those rooms, but honestly, this place is like a maze. It's going all directions. Even a fridge over here. And I think, yeah, this was the kitchen of the ship. This is where they prepared all the meals. Wow. It's just like a time capsule. You saw those stairs going down? Let's go. Yeah, I want to check them out, so I'm so curious. Alright, let's follow these stairs. Maybe there were even like multiple floors in the ship with all like rooms or cabins like they called in a ship for the staff. Quite moist here. It's always really cool to see these details, like typical ship lamps. This was definitely like a freezer. Where they were cooling all of their beverages and food products. Whoa! Talking about beverages and food products, everything is still standing here on the shelves. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> it's just untouched. I definitely didn't expect it that when I saw the outside of the ship sprayed for some parts with graffiti. their helmets are still there on the shelf. Crazy. Wow, even their booze are still standing there. The 
these must have been the bathrooms. A shower over there, sinks, toilets, yeah. Those were definitely the shower cabins. <sighs> You can definitely tell that the ship went on sale for like multiple uh, days, maybe even multiple weeks. And they were just sleeping here, literally spending weeks on board of the ship. Even life vests are still here on the ground. It was a very tiny bedroom, by the way. And I think this was another shower. Hey. hey, it's very, very nice here. There is a storage and all the food products are still left. Seriously? Yeah, it's insane. There is even a room with literally all their helmets and boots. It's crazy, people. I definitely was not expecting to explore something like this on this trip. By accident, I explored this place. Uh, I discovered this place, I mean. Look how tiny these beds are. They definitely did not have plenty of space here. I regard this as a sofa and those definitely like two beds. So this tiny room, I can barely only stand to myself, was actually used by two people. They didn't have much luxury on this ship. bedrooms their boots their coat is just left there over there the cabin cart <laughs> and all their helmets it's crazy I'm really thinking that's about 20 maybe 30 people worked on the ship because there are plenty of rooms, and this is only the downstairs. I think there is even more than the upstairs I haven't seen yet. But what I find crazy is that there is also still some personal things left behind. Like those magazines they were just reading. Maybe during their lunch break. Viola Marine. And everything is written in a foreign language again. There's just some tools and appliances here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This was their workshop. And this is crazy. Have a look at this. Still plenty of machines are here. Wow, there was so much stuff laying here. A list of fire equipment on the wall over there. I'm just trying to imagine that one time this place was just full of workers and activity. People were just earning their life costs on the ship. Damn. Tools are just all still pristinely hanging there. Even these goggles that were used for eye protection are still on top of the original machine. This looks like it could have been a press, but I'm not very technical, so correct me if I'm wrong. This also used to be filled with life vest, I guess, or maybe suits for the people here in this workshop. Even one other level going down. Epic guys. There are so many different floors on this ship. It's absolutely unexpected to be honest. I was not expecting something like this. But so far I'm absolutely in awe with this find.
and on a machine room. All right, so let's head down here. Another staircase going down. And I think then we will really actually enter the very technical part that was also mainly involved in the functioning of the boat. The complete mechanism. And of course, of course, the benzina. Wow. Water heater. Damn. Look at this. This is so cool. This really gives me throwback feelings to the abandoned submarine we have explored in the harbor of Amsterdam. Wow. Absolutely crazy. It's of massive size and of course that was needed for such a big ship. You can only imagine the weight of such a ship. So it definitely needed a lot of fuel. <laughs> this ship definitely needed a lot of fuel. I just love this location, guys. It's something different and I don't know, I just really like different. It keeps this hobby very exciting for me. And I'm definitely a lover of abandoned ships. Just leave surely in the comment section right down below. Do you want to see more abandoned boats, ships, uh, things like this in the channel? Then just leave it down in the comment section because I would highly appreciate it to know your feedback on this topic. Okay, so we are back upstairs. Let's show you the other rooms. I've not been out yet. I think this was just another tiny bathroom. The cabinet, the cabins, they were so little. Like the former staff of the ship. They were definitely living to one of the lowest standards on the ship. Like I mentioned previously, they did not have much luxury. Wow, another bedroom here. And yet another one. Plenty of them actually. But most of them do look different from each other. Or even uh, the instruction for the lifeboats. And like you can see here on this drone shot, the lifeboats are actually hanging on each side of the upper cabin. And by the way, this bedroom was actually the bedroom of the cook. It's written there. <laughs> okay, so time to go up the final floor, guys. I'm so curious. Sarah said that this is actually the very, very best one. Oh, she, said, she just <laughs> yeah, mentioned that I have to go another floor up. But don't you think it's actually incredible how many floors there it's are? Really bad. It's all going up and it's all going down. Yeah. I was very surprised. Whoa. This is also a very, very cool one. There is again plenty of bedrooms. So I think I was definitely right with my estimation of around 30 staff members of the ship. This room is still quite pristine, apart from some paperwork which has been strewn around. I really like the bedroom here. It seems that the staff members who were sleeping on this floor 
at much more space. So maybe this was also reserved for the higher rank. These rooms are way more spacious yes, than the other like ones. Bigger. So I think the people who were sleeping here were from a higher rank. Maybe even the bosses, I don't know. There is plenty of decay already for only 10 years of decommission. So you just found a book with many different ores to sail to with all the coordinates, right? Yes. They're all just written down. Japan, Honshu, Northwest Coast, Utashima. A depth of 70 meter excess in position. Damn. It's literally it's worldwide. Really nice. I also saw something over here on the previous page. United States? Well, I saw like notes to mariners. So maybe these people were even from the marine. You see, Admiralty notices to mariners. Weekly edition, 10th of June, 2010. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, lastly. Last for the best. Yeah, last <laughs> best, like literally. They're not even ready for what's waiting for us there. The hair used to be the fire hose. Okay. Let's go to the very, very last area and also last floor of the ship. Dang. This was the ship's control cabin. Wow. This is so cool. Always when I started Urbex, I hope to find a ship with just a cool control cabin like this. All the panels. Wow. This is amazing. Look at all these switches over here. Autopilot. Also mostly for the lights of the ship. Emergency lights indicator. Over here used to be the steering wheel of the ship. Over here the old monitor. Oh yeah. And I've, it's not the first time I'm actually in a control cabin of a ship because I told you I worked on the ship. I still remember these switches. They use them a lot when they are sailing. It's just amazing. It's almost like it's pristinely left. Have a look at it as a wall. There is even still a logbook over there. Look, this is actually the very, very last date because this is the name of this harbor town and it is here since 2010, you see, in December. It seems it has been here ever since. Yeah. You see at the end of 2010, like the 29th of December 2010, it was here for daily checks of equipment. All seems in good order, it says over here. But apparently it was not because for some reason the ship got decommissioned. And then of course, probably one of the most important attributes in the ship is the captain's seat. This was probably where the captain was sitting while he was controlling everything in the ship. Unbelievable guys, what a find. So we just found a lot of information about this vessel. The ship's name was Rio Tagus, and like I said, it was a general cargo ship. Whoa, cross tonnage, look how heavy it actually was. <laughs> Tremendously heavy. It was built in 1977. The owner, Elite Maritime Investments Corporation. Interesting. 
So I just found another very interesting thing. I think these compartments were actually for their administration of different countries. Because all the country names that were in the net from Tunisia to Turkey to, of course, the Netherlands to Gorgia, Greece, Romania, France, where we are right now, Ireland. And <laughs> look how dirty my hands are. <laughs> I just noticed it myself when I saw my hand on the screen. I think all the life vests and immersion suits used to be in here. They're not here anymore. Aware stuff has definitely been thrown around. It's sad to see the vandalism, but I'm happy that most of the part of this control cabin is still left in mint condition. Let's close this explore outside in this wonderful harbor town. Wow, iconic, absolutely. There's still a seagull flying away from the ship. By the way, these are the lifeboats I mentioned, which are hanging on the sides. And maybe if you can hold the cam, Sarah, yes. then I will just quickly do the outro of this video. So even though we had bad luck this morning with yeah, just the empty shed we found, this journey and this trip actually turns out good and it has a good start. We explored in the ghost ship for the first time and I also really like to hear the history that I actually showcasted in the introduction of this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more ghost ships and abandoned boats like this, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel down below and also leave your thoughts in the comment section right down below. And then as always, we will see you on an epic other adventure somewhere in this beautiful world. Peace out.